So this is what life now looks like for Premier League stars in the age of COVID-19. Tottenham Hotspur was one of the clubs back training today in small groups, keeping their distance, no tackling and temperature checks on arrival. But not every player has been happy about the resumption with concerns about safety. While we are getting tested and while we are going to be in a very safe environment, it only takes one person to get infected in the group for that to be a one to a six ratio. And again, I, I don't want to be bringing that home then. I've just had a, my son's like five months old. They have breathing difficulties. So I don't want to come home to put him in more danger. The Watford captain has had support, notably from Chelsea manager Frank Lampard. People like Troy Denny, you have to give them the freedom to speak out because people will be speaking from the heart. Some people will be more comfortable about it. I think we have to upgrade that communication so players know what they're going through and then they can make those decisions. Because, you know, they're, 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 they're my lads, I know, and I'm sure all managers will speak in the same way. They're good lads. They're, their intentions and their feelings for their family and how they feel are good. They want to get here and work. Germany's Bundesliga returned at the weekend behind closed doors five weeks after their players resumed training. These two Brentford fans were among many in this country who tuned in. They've been missing the game so much, they've been cycling round every ground in London. As long as it's safe for everyone to go back and it would be better if everyone could go to the grounds and, and enjoy it like that, um, like normal, but it's not going to happen like that, is it? Um, so yeah, but for the country itself, massive boost. Even, even Germany coming back is, is given the boost here as well. So I was looking at the Dortmund game, I saw, um, I saw them go 1-0 up. But it, it looked like a ghost town to see nobody there. Uh, the fact the fans make the game, I think, at the end of the day, you can, you can be the best team in the world, but if you've not got fans there to support and back you, it's not football. When no specific date has been set in stone for the Premier League to return, everyone is hoping it will be at some point in June. Here at Stamford Bridge, well, the match day countdown clock tells its own story. Despite six positive tests at three clubs, the next step will be full contact training. And if that passes off safely, the Premier League, albeit behind closed doors, will get the go-ahead to get playing. Enda Brady, Sky News at Stamford Bridge.